What's up, Cabaret Cuties? I'm Nikki Elliott Nelson. And I'm Maka Pennington. And welcome to Tea Time. Cause the tea. Now that's something we can tell you for free. Now you know how we like to do it over here on Tea Time. If you are a day one viewer, go ahead and give us some pink and green hearts down in the comments below. If this is your first time or you just started watching since we started covering Jocelyn and her cabaret, give us a little black heart down in the comments mm -hmm. below. Also, feel free to follow us on our socials. We got the X boo. Not for much longer. <laughs> We've got the Instagram. We do. We have the Tiki Taki. And of course, like, subscribe, ring that little bell, baby. We will be your new favorite. We mm. promise. Well, I make no promises because I don't want to get sued. How you doing? I'm fine. How you doing? What you doing? I'm you fine, good? Honey, you guys. surviving? I'm doing my best. You know, this climate after the election is kind of a difficult one. You know, if you were on the right side of history, there's a noticeable, like a palatable sadness um, that's, that's in the air. And based on the election results, you're probably going to find yourself in some mixed company. You know, a large population of the country voted for <clears throat> the Donald. And something like 50% of white men actually voted for Donald Trump, which I thought, I didn't think it was, could happen, but it did, you know? So if you're ever in mixed company and you want to appear objective, just say that Donald Trump reminds you of Ronald Reagan, you know? Well. You will be applauded for your objectivity when in reality, the most notable similarity between uh, Ronald Reagan and the Donald Trump is they both married whores. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret that Nancy Reagan phoned more homes than E.T. And Melania is basically a sad Eastern European version of a Playboy Playmate. You know, homegirl thought she was making a come up by getting married to Donald, you know, and then somehow she got shoehorned into being the first lady. And I don't think she's very happy about it. Well, I would feel sorry for her, but I can't. Let's get into the show, Kemp, shall we? Yes, honey. Now, this episode starts with them on the set of Jocelyn's uh, Damalo video. So I'm walking on the set of the video shoot for Damalo, and it's being directed by Des Grace. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, you know, I gotta give it up for Damalo. The, the, the music be musicking. I do like the song. I really do. The, Jocelyn's little music be musicking. You know what I'm saying? And I enjoy, I'm enjoying it and I'm loving it. And I'm excited to get like a little behind the scenes tea of the video. It's very exciting. Yes. I she do love it. picked last episode. She picked the um, the five girls that were yes, going to go. That were going to go. Like Andrea, Danny, um, Lexi. Mm -hmm. You brave for trying. Nick. Nick and Isis. Raven. Oh, I guess it was six because Isis Wait, was there too. And Drea was there too. That's like seven. She picked a lot of girls. Now, you know Jocelyn. Jocelyn might be better at numbers than we are at this point because like, oh. Um, it's separate when it comes to eliminating, honey. No, no. <laughs> Jocelyn don't like eliminating don't nobody like from back hedge. No. She don't like subtraction. Jocelyn likes addition, you know. <laughs> Eliminating the girls? Absolutely not. It's, this this show has been 25,000 weeks long and she's eliminated three girls. So there's that. Now, I guess at the very top of the episode, Jocelyn shows up to her video shoot and she's sick. Now, let me tell you, I got a fucking cough. I feel so shitty right now. I'm sick. I tell everybody they got to put on mask. I don't know what happened to me when I went to the beauty line launch. Somebody gave me the fucking box, and now I gotta perform for this while she direct, directs me for the first time. You know, it's a lot to deal with. She says somebody gave her the buggy, so you know one of these girls is gonna pay. <laughs> yeah. One of these girls is gonna pay Honey, dearly. Don't cough around Jocelyn. Don't you know, dust her either. No. <laughs> don't dust her, don't cough, and keep, don't your dust, keep your dusters away from her, honey. Hey. Now, we do find out in this episode that uh, my good sis Raven was in another music video. Pull up to the set, okay, to the Damala music video, and I'm low-key, actually high-key excited because the director has worked with a lot of people in this industry. I've done one music video, never got aired. We won't talk about that. 
and it, I guess it wasn't Girl, released. Yeah, she said, oh, honey, but don't She's go not going to tell her. us. You know, I've been asking. I'm nosy. I'm like, Raven, can you tell us who it is? She's not tell She's not coming off of nothing. Yeah, All she said was Domino. I said, okay, girl, well, that's Because that's, that's the one, only one on my resume. Honey. Exactly. Now, before the whole video even gets started, before production gets started, you know, Jocelyn decides that she's going to pull Rico and Drea to the side. Hello. Hi, beautiful. You, you look, look so cute. amazing. I love this look on you. Hello, Hello the blonde. I got makeup on. Yes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, what's about to go on? Well, Jocelyn, I guess, tells Rico and Drea that they need to tell Lexi that she needs to go home and she can't be in the video. Yeah. One thing, Lexi. Can I be in the video? Wait, why? What I know. And she told Rico, I was like, and don't let her go after Drea, honey. You stand up and you separate them. Don't let no one go after no damn Drea. Well, so they. Well, I'm sorry. I do like how Jocelyn was told Drea. She was like, whenever I'm done with the cabaret, honey, I want you to run it. I have a dream for you. What's my dream? What did I tell you one day? You want me to be groomed for long term usage. For the cabaret. For the cabaret. Oh. To run the cabaret. Yes, ma'am. One day. Absolutely. I, put I that, like I put that. Oh, I put that okay. in the show notes. Yeah, I got you, girl. I love that. Now, I do like that Rico was like, say less. I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let Lexi yeah. touch her. You know what I'm saying? And I, I do also like to add, you know, how basically Jocelyn like, well, don't be worried because Danny going to be there too. Oh, and yeah. Danny ain't going to let nothing happen. And Danny will be there too. Danny not going to let nothing go down. He's not but still like. Yeah. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. She's not going to let nothing happen. So yeah, Drea yeah. gets down to business because Jocelyn was like, and don't act like her puppy either. Tell her straight up what it is. You going home. I don't, Jocelyn going to be there to talk yeah, to you in a minute. Maybe not today, honey, but tomorrow she's going to talk. Yeah. Y'all going to work it out. So Drea goes to tell Lexi and Lexi immediately assumes that Drea has something to do with it. Yeah. I don't feel like Ricardo was being shady or nothing when he came with the message about me going home. But Andrea, my eyebrow up, bitch. I don't trust you, bitch. I feel like you got something to do with this shit. And see, that's the problem. That's, you know, that I didn't like that because it's like, just because you don't like somebody doesn't mean they're always the villain in their yeah, story. Yeah, like Drea didn't even know like why she was getting sent home. Neither did Ricardo. He took never there was walking around. He was like, I don't know why. Just keep practicing, honey. I mean, quietly they both knew why. Jocelyn told them both. Did <laughs> so, you think so no, jo on camera, on film, Jocelyn was like, she's in. She's in. I mean, we're gonna get to the reason later. But she told her, or she told both of them, and they both decided that they were gonna be like, I don't know. I don't no. know why you're going home, but but I can see the reason why because I got a video production to do. I don't have time to have this long form conversation with you because you're going to want to talk it out. It's like when you're breaking up with somebody, you know what I'm saying? It's better to just rip the band-aid off, be like, it's not working, yada, 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 move on. You know, you start giving them reasons, then they want, they want the opportunity to redeem themselves. And it's just like, no, baby, ain't no, ain't no act two, ain't no redemption arc. Ain't no, what, you ain't Beyonce. You're not irreplaceable. Sure. We're done. Immediately. Jayla continues to annoy me. Uh, Andrea, you just a messy ass bitch. Like immediately. Because she too, up in the confessional talking about, I immediately knew that Drea had something to do with it. Oh yeah, they <laughs> all... And I immediately want you to be quiet. That's what yeah. I want. Like, maybe she could talk a little bit less sometimes, you know? It would be nice. It definitely would be, but... Meanwhile, Rosé is at the house. Uh, so, with everybody being at the music video and us not being there, what's your honest feeling, you know what I'm saying, about us being here and them probably out having a motherfucking blast? You know? And Queen Envy is also there at the house. And I feel like at this point, you know, Queen Envy should feel completely in her element at home, not included, because she never gets picked yeah. for anything. And it's just like, I don't know, maybe there should be some learning happening there. But they're at the house, chopping it up, talking about, you know, how they feel about being sidelined. Rose says that she felt like, you know, she was making some progress and doing some things. But I feel like the way Rose tried to play Hennessy, 
that's never going to sit right with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rose tried to play both sides of the fence. She got in where she, she saw that she could fit in, you know. But, you know, karma. What do you think? I mean, she's, I, I can't remember how she danced, so I don't, I can't say, oh, she should have been there or not. Like, I can't remember how she danced, so. In all honesty, I don't think she was a bad dancer, per se. Uh -huh. I'm not going to say she's a bad dancer. I just, her personality leaves a little bit to be desired, if you're asking me. Well, if you're asking my opinion about it, so. Mm. Oceans is delusional. Gotten, I have not gotten chosen for anything. Hey. Oceana. How are you? What's up? What's going on? Ooh. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling good, you know. Everything's fine. My face is, the swelling's gone down a little bit, but I'm still looking a little crazy. But, you know, I'm really aggravated because I feel like Hennessy feels like she did her big one on me. Oceans, and I know that's kind of like, I know you have mixed feelings about Oceans, you know. Why? <laughs> I mean, I can see, like, she acts a whole fool sometimes. Other times, I'm like, oh, she's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, but see, the thing is, all of the good parts about her get washed away when she starts acting like Pennywise. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I think my whole thing is she's a tryhard, too. She's a tryhard. She doesn't yeah, do Yeah, she things. really wants Jocelyn's approval. And yeah. And appearing, like, you can... Definitely see, like, no, Miss Johnson, I want you to look at me. Look at me, look at me, and it's just like, I'm standing Girl, up for I'm standing, I'm fighting in your honor, honey. You're doing all of the things to get her attention except for dancing, babes. And I think we all found out why you're not doing the dancing. It's because you're incapable. Yeah, she's not the she's not the best. No, I I mean that not the best is putting it very politely. So well. we'll say that. Now, Rose immediately accuses Drea of having something to do with Lexi going home, too. It's, it's some big it's vindictive shit it's, going yeah, on with her. And to that I say, delusional. I can understand why they would feel that type of way. It's like, mm. oh, she told on us once, honey, so she's doing again, trying to get us in trouble, trying to get us eliminated. See, I hadn't even thought back that far. So maybe it makes a little sense now. I just thought that they had made up their minds that they didn't like the girl. And they were like, I mean, well, it was her. I mean, they don't like her. Like, I just thought they had made up their minds like, well, we don't like her, so it's her. She's the, she's the devil. Uh -huh. I hate her so much. But, I mean, now that does make sense. Now, back on set, Nick is botching the choreo. I might have messed up once. She is, yeah, she, she messed up, didn't she? Nick I was is like, there botching she is a the real choreo. good dancer. So I was like, oh, well, maybe your mind was up. Elsewhere, honey. It she just, was rolling around in the sand and all the other girls like, what the hell is this bitch doing? I, it just goes to show, like, keep your eye on the prize. Run your own race. Make sure you're coming with your A game. Don't be so worried about what this one, that one, and that one going on. See, that's how you start to lose, you know. My girl Oprah, you know, Winfrey, she said, run your own race as hard as you can and don't worry about the other guy. And those are words to live by. See, while you've been here putting on this clown show and selling wolf tickets, you at the production, which was, this is what it was all working up to be. The cabaret and you're in the video. Now you're on set looking sloppy. Mm -hmm. Karma. Karma. She's a bitch. That karma. She's gonna come get you, honey. She does what she does. Now. It is revealed that Danny is actually the one who snitched on Lexi. Yeah. You brought some stuff to my attention. I did. She done Googled her, honey. She found that she she's a rapper. She has, I don't know if she raps or sings. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But she's in the music. She's trying to do some music and she was at the baddies audition. Mm, and y'all know how Miss Jocelyn feels about Natalie Nunn and those people over at Bags. Mm -hmm. She don't like it. So Danny Sister, now how do we feel about that? Cause you know I'm a ride for Danny. You know I'm gonna ride for you Danny. You know I love, I like Danny. <clears throat> but it's, I wouldn't have done it cause I wouldn't have cared. But you know what, like here's the thing. I, it depends because I don't know exactly what the relationship or what the dynamic was there. Uh -huh. I know if I were Danny, I'm definitely snitching on Neek the minute the opportunity came up. Like, oh, Jocelyn, did you know? Uh -huh. Did you hear? I'm going to do that unapologetically. So, and a few of the other girls I would have definitely told on that. I don't know what was going on behind the scenes, but why the scenes with Miss, with Miss Lexi and Danny, but obviously... Danny found a reason. Yeah, she done. 
She Googled her. I mean, I want to, because I probably wouldn't have thought about Googling the girls, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. So. I mean, Danny found it necessary, and that's my sis, and um, I'm going to yes, stick beside her. You know I love Danny. I'm going to stick beside her. So that's how it went. That's what so it I was. So I still need some pole dancing some lessons, girls. I'll never hear available. And Danny, <laughs> now you got the connection to Jocelyn. Give me some of that face cream, baby. It's, it's so <laughs> oh, out. <yeah. laughs> it's so out. And you were so saying good. on this episode how you was wearing it under your makeup. So you have it. You have the face cream. Well, go ahead and kick us a bucket. <laughs> I was going to say a bucket. <laughs> a jar. I mean, you could kick a bucket, too. Like, I'll I take mean, a bucket or a jar. I'll take what you have on hand, uh, sis. Whatever it takes. Next day, back at the ranch, right? Isis is there because all the girls are gathered around the table. You all know the producers are like, come on, y'all, line up. <laughs> line up, we need to talk, you know what I'm saying? Isis is trying to pop off that Hennessy. Now, I don't know why the girls... I don't know why the girls still bother at this point. I think you'll be going home because you ain't really been here to learn to dance and stuff. You ain't really been vibing or nothing like that with the girls. Even though, like, we done had our little situation, I could still work next to them, dance next to them. You ain't even, you can't even do that. Hennessy has gotten to a point, I feel like, and Danny said, like, she doesn't even react to them anymore. She doesn't even respond. It's yeah. unnecessary. I There's mean, no I point. feel like I would have probably be, like, do what Hennessy's doing. Like, they kept on there. I was like, I don't care. Yeah. Keep Hennessy's like, I do not care. Just don't touch me. Just, <laughs> just don't touch me. Say what you want. They talk about, they talk about some great women in history, and I guess... Now you're talking about me as well. Look at that, you know? So, I don't know. I have no idea, but Isis tried to pop it with Hennessy, and Hennessy didn't care. I love when, was it Raven or Diamond asked, like, do you think there are going to be eliminations? And Danny was like, I hope so. Oh, yeah. So, do you guys think that there will be eliminations? Hopefully so. This that did something for me. Danny was like, I hope so. Because you know, she's trying to send the girls. That's probably why she Googled her. She's like, Jocelyn, you need to start subtracting some of these girls from the equation. Like, come on, let me just go on the Googles, honey, and try to find some dirt on the girls. Because she's <laughs> Maybe it. she looked all of them up and was just like, I'm going to buy something on one of these. One of y'all going home. home. One of y'all going home. I'm sick of this. We've been here for seven days. And everybody's still here. I can't take it no more. One of y'all got to leave. So Justin finally confronts Lexi. Yeah, in front of everyone. You know, I, I, I feel like, I almost feel like a leftover. Like, damn, you auditioned for somebody else from, you know, that's got a show on Suze, and that didn't work out, I don't know why. And then you came here. Come here. I cannot work for you or your management. Well, Jocelyn finally confronts her, and I don't know, what did you think about the dynamic, the setup? What were the thoughts that were going through you? I mean, mind? she was being a little bit shady, and she was just like, I mean, you, you wanna be a you wanna be a rapper, a musician, honey, just go out there, go out and do it. You're not really, you're not getting booked. Like, if you, if I was taking care of you, like, I, I would've been booking you. Like, you would've had, I would've said right then and there, well, girl, how about you be my manager? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, I would have said, okay, perfect. I now work for you. Okay. Right? So we're going to do that. We're going to finish the contract, this. Honey. We're going to finish this cabaret, and then you're going to be my my talent manager. Thank you. Jo thank you. So I always okay. knew you had a heart. I like, always thank you, knew. girl. Like those girls back there, that one talks bad about you. <laughs> that one talks bad about you, too. But oh, I was you know, defending they would never. <laughs> They would never say anything negative. About I was defending you the whole time. Jayla back there said you got a crooked nose. Like, oh my God. But I just knew. I knew you were too good for that. So let me put on a live performance <laughs> for you, girl. Right now, I would have. But you know, Lexi did the best thing that she could do. Lexi acted like a man. Why can't I like a man who's been cheating? Mm. Like a man who's been cheating. Why can't I love you, Jocelyn? Why can't I love you in the cabaret, Jocelyn? Uh -huh. Why can't I do love you? Why can't you let me love you? Girl, shut up. See, Lexi been cheated on before. Because she didn't heard that line well, from I some man. <laughs> she has a whole fam. So. Yeah, I mean. She's kind of like, oh. <laughs> she took notes. Now, in the middle of everything, Jayla, Dez, and Nick decides to put on their clown suits. Oh my god. What that now listen. That's who was the feet. Yo, yo. Hey, y'all, I'm okay. You want to talk about secondhand embarrassment. It was embarrassing. It was they had a whole song. They spent their money on 
like, she got t-shirts made oh um, and then like no one really laughed no it was one. so it wasn't awkward. good i would have like oh i'm going back upstairs <laughs> you know this is so bad i, I would started packing my stuff right then and there <laughs> i would i would have started packing right there i am humiliated it was it was des jayla and who else des jayla and neek yeah yeah that was and that's how neek gets because neek could be on her a game but instead you're up here Being at the hobby lobby stupid. buying you spend your damn money on like what is it air freshener and bug spray and, and raincoats up here with this clown jayla you just uh, the whole and then Dez. I mean, I don't. I lost a lot of respect for her. Oh yeah, me and Dez, we've been estranged for quite a while. She's just too pretty to act in a fool. But you know, Erica, envy Erica. I forgot because I was gonna send you the video because I was just curious. Like I was going through her Instagram because I was just curious because I like the way she looks. Yeah, same. Honey, she was on a a reality. She did like a pilot of a reality show. It was called the the Side Chicks of Atlanta or something. Oh, honey. So oh. I guess Danny did a dig deep enough. Yeah, she <laughs> digged a little harder. You know what I'm saying? She had like a whole confession. I'll send, I'll, I'll send it to you like after we wrap Okay, down. I want to see it. Yeah, honey. She was on. She did a whole pilot for reality show. I'm not sure if it got picked up or not. Oh. I think, um, was it Megan um, from Bad Girls? Megan James from Bad Girls Season 9. I think that she may have been on it. T? Or something? I, th I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. T. Yeah. Now, Jocelyn asks um, Hennessy, like, how do you feel about that? Henny, that was for you? Yeah, the song, the, yeah. the spider webs, the mama stat. Do you have anything to say about that? That was a good performance. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I knew you'd love it. Aww. I really did. Is that facing you at all? No, but it was a good performance. <laughs> Does that make you want to walk away for $50,000? Nah, but it was a good performance. Okay, so is, are we done with that? Are you guys got your rocks off? You feel better? It was ridiculous. I, I was very disappointed with Death, uh, Russia, and Nick, because I thought it was immature. You really sitting up here making, taking your time out of your day to make a song. You should have took up just dancing. Hennessy was just like, it was a good performance. Yeah. Baby, Hennessy's not playing with y'all no more. She'll be me. Just like, I don't care. And it was a good performance. She was unfazed. Justin was like, is that bothering you? She was like, no, but it was a good performance. Do you feel about, a way about that? No, but it was a good performance. <laughs> Hennessy is done. And I feel like now at, at this point, the tide has turned and now Hennessy's on her A game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. We'll see what that is. Um, child, Jocelyn ain't sitting Lexi home. She didn't. At the end, she was like, all right, y'all, kids, say, say goodbye to this house. So last night in the house, everybody's performing tomorrow. Oh. I got the rehearsals. Oh. Okay. So now another week, we got to remember everybody's name. You know what I'm saying? At this point, Jocelyn don't care about us. Uh -huh, honey, I feel like we... Have we learned everyone's names? I, I feel, feel like, like we kind of learned everybody's names enough. Uh -huh. Enough to like get through. They get to rehearsals and you know, typical, same old, same old. Some of the girls have it. Some of the girls don't. Um, Oceans gets a chance to prove herself and she fumbles the ball. She did because Ricardo even was like, I mean, she's one of the ones I know the dance. She's like, why is she at, I'm up here? And she was See, like. I think his exact words was she works hard. I mean, he said that, but he said that. I, I feel like he had said something like positive about her knowing the dance. And that's why she was like, why is she up here? And she was like, well, and she went up there. And, and she, she got up there. And she embarrassed herself. And she promptly got sit right back down. Yeah, she was yeah. like, okay, everyone <laughs> go sit back down, Oceans. Yeah, she's like, Oceans, get down. Let's run it again, you know. So I don't, I don't know. It looks like it's about to pop off on tonight's episode, though, because... I saw the clips, and it looks like Jayla the Clown um, has decided that she was going to jump in a fight between Hennessy and Neek. So I'm excited to see that tonight, see what it's given, and see what it looks like. I wonder if someone else is ever going to jump in and try to... I don't know. Like, they're like, oh, no, no jump in, honey. I don't know. We're going to see. I, all I will say is this. Hennessy has been holding her own... 10 feet down this whole season. Mm -hmm. She's not switched up once. She's been the same person the whole time. So you know what? I'm going to stick, stick beside her. I'm going to stick beside her. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all hope that you uh, enjoyed our little recap. 
Give us some love in the comments below. Follow us on all of the socials and all of the things. Make sure that you watch tonight's episode. We usually live post over on the X. The threads coming soon. The There's, threads what was coming the other soon. One? Like blue sky or blue, blue sky. Something. We gonna do it. We I saw do people it. talking about it. I'm gonna look into it. We gonna get it cracking. We, Not the, I don't, we no. gonna do something, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna say it'll be too much. Honey. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can just copy and paste because I feel like that's what everyone else does. Absolutely. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, thinking on top of my head. Download Zeus between five and seven dollars. So three dollars. It's, it's cheap. cheap. <laughs> just get it. Who just playing games? Do it. If you watch us to the end, just get it. Yeah, I mean, if you're by this point in the video, if you're making it all the way into the end, you like the tea. You're okay. here for the tea. So go ahead, download, so you can start watching, so you can catch the recap, mm -hmm. so you can watch the new episode. And then you can talk, at, uh, mess with us. Exactly. Exactly. We know you love it, baby. Anyway, we love y'all so much. And we'll catch y'all on the next one.